Elizondo, George Elizondo. Super tough. It's one of those guys who lead for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He was doing that forever. And he's a martial arts since he was a kid too. We are gonna show some real scenarios, possible encounters with people who wanna hurt you. We are gonna break down the technique here, the shim and the mat, right? And when he teach, when he trains, when, when he rolls, when he goes to the competition, he's, a, he's become a monster, super aggressive. Hi, man. So How about you, brother? Good. Very good, and you? Yeah. All right, guys, today I have here my brother, my friend, my part of the family instructor I have here, Jorge Elizondo. Okay, you told me that you started martial arts at 14, right? Yes. Okay, why? I started Kung Fu. I got a. Um, yeah, I started Which Kung style? Fu. Uh, the Kwosu, the, the old one. And um, I started because I always. I think I every the teenager. Animals. You did the animals, the snake, the yes. tiger. I never got to that level, but You did yes. a crane? No. No? No, no, no. That would be good for I you. Just that, did that the, the basic well. form. But um, I start like, I think like most of the kids start, you know, they, I was not getting bullied in the school because right. every time then somebody tried to bully me, I react. But I was very skinny, very small, and I was yeah, getting... Right now. Yeah, I was getting beat every time that I try to defend myself and um, and I decide like okay if I'm just gonna keep you know going forward I need to learn how to how to go forward okay. and that's why I start Kung Fu, oh, a little uh, bit of Kung Fu. And after that? I start to do Karate Americano and then I got to the I went to a seminar of uh, Jiu Jitsu. In Argentina? In Argentina yeah 2000 yeah. 2000 now? Uh. 2000. So yeah. and you came here to the USA? And then I came here and uh, I started to look for the school because when I tried over there, it was just only 10 days with Carson Grace. And um, yeah, Carson Grace, I, yeah. yeah, I got into that, but uh, it was no place to train over there. And then when I came here, I started to look for the play and I found, you know, my sensei, George Pereira, and I started to train with him. So I, I, I hear that you're one of the first black belt from George Pereira, right? Uh, I'm the first black belt here in the United States. And yeah. short period is a coral belt? Coral belt, yes. And for how long you been a black belt? Uh, 11 years. 11 years? Yes. Okay, and I want to ask you, why do you think that Shu Shitsu is more effective than other styles of martial arts? For example, I don't know, Kung Fu, Aikido, Hapkido, kickboxing, Taekwondo, why? I think all martial arts are like uh, good, but the thing about Jiu Jitsu is that it, it teach you how to control the person, you know? And when you control the person, the way that you control the person, you decide, depending on the situation, if you just want to control the person or if you want to hurt the person. In terms of reality, I'm going to be honest with you, if I, if I fight on the street, and that's what I teach my students, is I'm not going to be thinking about you. I'm going to do whatever I can to hurt you, you know? Even if I had to do a strike, a, a submit you or whatever. And if you think about most of the fight on the street, you like it or not, they ended up grappling. They ended up on the ground or they ended up clinching. Right. You know, Sorry. like you're going to, some way you're going to end up doing some grappling on the street. You know, unless you get knocked down the first punch. Okay. You, are, you adjust the jiu-jitsu to the street. You understand? If you are just doing jiu-jitsu, you just do jiu-jitsu. But then you adapt it to the street. What are you going to show me? What are you going to teach me today? Today we're gonna see a couple of techniques, you know, uh, and we're gonna focus most on that, how to use the jiu-jitsu on the street. You know, a lot of people say, oh, the jiu-jitsu doesn't work in the street, but if you know how to use it, like more than the 70% of the, the technique that we do in jiu-jitsu, you can use it on the street. Right. Okay, we're gonna use some technique when you had to defend the person or when you had to defend yourself or when you are like in a very close area, you know, then you cannot move around, you know. That's what I'm going to teach you, how to, how to control the guy or how to hurt the guy fast and just get out, or if you want, you can keep punching or kicking the guy. Well, that's too violent. Huh? That's too violent. It's the street. The street is ah, yeah, like no, that. Yeah, there's gotta, no rules, right? There's no rules. There's no the churches. Nope. 
No. There is no referee. No. And there is no ambulance waiting for you, exactly. no? Exactly. So I can do 25, 30, 50 rounds on the ring, train every morning, train people, I can I be I finish like almost like new. But I do five minutes in Shushitsu and I feel feeling like that, like if a, a truck ran over me. So that's why. Because when you roll, especially if you are on the bottom, the guy has more experience than you. When you start, most of the time the guy's gonna be on, on, on top of you because he's the guy who's gonna control you the most and have more experience. And every time that you move, you move with the weight of that person on top of you. Right. That's why you roll for like two minutes and then you, you feel that you are like very tired. Last one. Yeah. So, uh, we come here, there is only one parking spot. I try to go first, you put your truck, I go down, I tell you, yeah, move your truck, you say no, and we start fighting. Who wins? When it's about you and me, I don't think so. It's, it's not about uh, who is going to win. It's and about who is going to die first. Ooh, and who is going to die first? Eh? We got to find out. We have to find out? Yes. We're going to find out today? Maybe. Let's see. Okay, All right, good. let's go. <laughs>